Hello, YouTube. You know the hardest thing about making YouTube videos is learning the intro. What do you say? I think I say about a hundred things. Anyway, so today, man, I want to talk about building cars. Like, I really feel like it's a good, it's, it's something that everybody needs to, to get into is building their own car. Or not even building your own car, but knowing your car. Like, you need to, you need to know your car. You need to know how, how your car operates. You know, it goes into the, thing, the video I made about going to shop and knowing what you will walk into. If you know your car, if you know uh, the different problems that it may occur, 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 that may happen. <laughs> you know, if you know these things, then you know you won't run into a lot of problems. The biggest problem that people are having is that they are um, going to shops and inspecting people to know exactly what's wrong with their car just because you can tell them what sound it makes. No, if you if you really pay attention, like say you get you buy the car and you listen to everything the salesperson says about the vehicle, and then you know you get on the road and then you something happened years down the road. You, you know if you. It's just it's, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it, man. That's why I choose to build, you know, build cars because if I build my car, I know what's wrong. I had a, um, I had some crazy stuff going on with my car, and uh, I decided to go and just freshen it up and look through it and make sure everything's okay. And uh, we're driving to work yesterday, and just start smelling burnt oil. I'm like, man, what's that smell? You know, I know I was wasting oil on the exhaust the other day, but I remember cleaning it off. Come to find out my VTEC cylinder was leaking. But I remember I had put another one on to test that one out because the one I had wasn't functioning right. So I look at it, take it off, uh, put another seal on it, put it back on. It was still leaking. Found out that the VTEC cylinder that I was using, that I used, had a small crack in the back. So it's leaking from the solenoid itself. So the solenoid is busted. But if I didn't build my car, I would. It would took me a while to figure out where it was coming from. Because sometimes it may look like it's leaking from the VTEC solenoid, but it could be leaking from the valve cover gas. You know. And the thing is, if you look at my Civic, like the entire motor, there is not an oil leak, like an oil spot on the ground or on my bottom of my block. None. And that's how I, that's how I got it. I got it where you know I know if it leaks, I know it's coming from. You know, and that's what that's what I mean by not everybody's a mechanic. Not everybody knows you know how to build their cars and stuff. It's just the incentive of just knowing. Like, pay attention to your vehicle. Your vehicle takes you from A to B. So just keep up with your maintenance. Make sure you get your oil changes, um, tire rotations. Make sure they check your brakes, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure everything is checked because you never know when you'll be on the side of the road. You know what I'm saying? So it's just another, you know, another uh, insight on owning vehicles. Just keep an eye on that stuff so you don't never have to run into the problem of, you know, figuring out how you're gonna get to work the next day or how you're gonna take your kids to school. Just keep an eye on your vehicle. Your vehicle is very important. It's more important than watching TV. It's more important than going to the club because if you you go to the club and your um, and your car breaks down on you, you got an Uber. But anyway, ain't nothing wrong with Uber, but I'm just saying you didn't plan on Ubering that day. So just another little tip for everybody. Hope everybody having a good day. Um, stay blessed and keep building.